Hey, Avid Max Anglers, thanks for tuning in. I am Brady, here with you doing an indicator breakdown. Lots of options out there in regards to indicators for your subsurface fishing needs. Wanted to take a little look and show you some of the options that we have at Avid Max. Uh, we'll go over some of the different styles that are available out there, as well as sort of their purpose and how they attach um, and how they function overall. So let's take a look at some of the different styles that are available. Lots of options out there in the world of indicators. Starting out with the bobber-esque style of indicator. Um, one of the most famous being the thingamabobber. So this is a great all-purpose indicator. Comes in three different sizes from one inch, three quarter, and the half inch, the smaller size there. Very easy to use indicator. Um, kind of tricky to cast and it has some pros and cons that we'll dive into more details on a little bit later but definitely a good bobber style indicator. Another option in that same realm of things is the airlock indicator. So these are similar, uh, but they're actually made with a foam. They attach to your leader a little bit differently too, and we'll show you how to do that. Uh, but overall, the aspects and sort of the functionality is similar to the thingamabobber. Then you have kind of your more traditional cork style, which is also a similar product. It's just made of cork instead of foam or that uh, closed air technology. So that's a good option in a lot of different situations. We have some newer ones into the shop, which these have gotten a lot of buzz lately. These are the Oros. Right now they're a little hard to come by, but that production is getting caught up. So you should see those more readily available uh, in the coming months. Uh, but a cool, unique design split indicator, similar to how the airlock attaches to your leader, uh, but through the center there, simple to use and a very similar style to the thingamabobber and the airlocks. They're gonna function fairly similarly. Another one that's fairly new is the Frog Eyes. And this is also a round style indicator. It's a hard, dense foam. And they come in a couple different sizes, a couple different colors. So that's another option. We'll talk about how that one attaches here in a minute. Um, working our way down the line, now we have sort of more of a presentation style indicator. These bobber style indicators are great for a lot of different reasons, but sometimes you need to have a little bit more delicate presentation. Uh, maybe you got spooky fish or clearer water. So that's where some of these poly yarn indicators come in. These are really famous as well. Definitely widely used, come in different sizes and easily attached and movable. They also make a similar style to the poly yarn in a foam. So that's a nice product. Kind of weighs the benefits of having a delicate presentation, but it's not gonna be as labor intensive as far as keeping it kind of buoyant um, and cured throughout the day. We'll talk about that more in depth here in a moment as well. Then working our way down the line, we have uh, a unique style indicator. This is the New Zealand Strike Indicator System. So this is actually a wool product, very environmentally friendly, and it attaches to your leader uh, with this little tool here. I'll show you how to do that as well. Uh, and then kind of the other end of the spectrum is your real lightweight presentation leaders. Um, so this stuff, you can have a very small indicator on your line, not gonna make a big splash, but you'll be able to track what's going on. We have the Pulsa Pinch-Ons. These are okay for some situations, not really a great product, not one that we recommend really widely, but it does have some really good applications. Similar to that is the Rio Kahuna. So also a very small, very delicate indicator. This actually slides onto your leader. Then we have the Ghost Tech. This is also a newer style indicator. It's uh, like a bubble wrap material enclosed in, into two materials. Um, so it's really nice and buoyant, screws on and kind of versatile. We'll show you that more. Um, from there we have the Bio Strike from Loon. So this is a create your own size indicator. Pinch a little bit off, make a little ball, put it on your line. Very versatile in that respect. Um, and it's also similar to the New Zealand style, Loon has their strikeout indicator. And this is just a poly yarn that you can utilize to make your own indicator as well. So that's kind of the wide range that we offer. Whenever I'm going out to the river or to a lake or, or a body of water, I like to carry a nice variety of liters. So I'll just kind of stash a bunch into a Ziploc bag. And then I can choose, 
you know, what's going to be right for the day? Do I need really delicate? Are the fish going to be spooky? Um, am I going to go with yarn? Or do I need the more buoyancy end of things where a thingamabobber might come into play? So with all that said, I know there's a lot of different options here. Uh, we're going to dive in and kind of show you a little more detail about each one and sort of how to apply them and, and when they might be applicable. All right, so starting with the thingamabobber, just wanted to show you how these connect real easily to your line. I have just a standard taper leader here for, for show purposes. A lot of times when we're running an indicator rig, we're gonna have a butt section that might be a straight diameter. You can use your old tapered leaders for this as well, cut them back. Um, a lot of times you're only gonna run, you know, anywhere from four to six feet of a butt section. And that's kind of where your indicator is going to live. So you're going to attach it and then want to be able to move it up and down on that as you need to um, for setting depth and whatnot. But just to attach the thing thingamabobber here, super simple to do so. We're just going to fold our line over enough so that we can feed it right through the gasket, the eyelet here. And then it's going to go around the indicator and then just cinch tight against it. So that's gonna be nice and set on your line. They really don't slide. Um, they stay in place really well, the thingamabobber. But when you do wanna move it, it's pretty easy to do so. You can just feed a little bit through on one end and then pull it tight on the other end and shift it up, you know, six inches at a time or however much you need to as you're moving from one run to another um, or when you're just kind of finding that depth using these thingamabobbers. So very simple, very effective indicator, really buoyant. They can be tough to cast. They're a little air resistant, so that's one of the downsides to the, the thingamabobbers. Um, but I don't think they can be beat in regards to their buoyancy. They tend to hold up uh, the most amount of weight for me when I'm fishing real heavy, uh, you know, nymph rigs, multi-weight multi or multi-fly nymph rigs uh, with a lot of split shot on there. So indicator, uh, the thingamabobber, is a great option and one to definitely have in your bag and they do come off pretty easily as well the other downside is that they do tend to kink this one i've only had on for a few seconds but i already do have a kink in the leader you can imagine when you're fishing them throughout the day as you move them having a leader straightener or at least being able to pull that leader straight again uh, can be a little bit of a challenge with the thingamabobber so the next one we're going to take a look at is the airlock and this is the camo version of the airlock really the greatest benefit of this indicator is the simple use and how quick and easy it is to attach so it's got a screw top with a little rubber gasket there which these are very easy to lose so make sure that you keep a close eye on that as you're going through this uh, they also have a little slit in the nut portion of the connector and all you do is slide your leader onto that, your butt section onto that, throw the gasket over top, and then screw it down into place. And again, they stay on fairly well. These will have a little bit more of a tendency to move around on your leader when you're casting, especially if you're using a smaller diameter butt section. But for the most part, if you're fishing a pretty heavy butt section, it's gonna stay in place. And the beauty of these is how quick and easy it is to just unscrew it a little bit, move it up six inches, tighten it down and keep fishing. And then again, they come off very easily as well. So a full foam indicator, it's gonna land uh, fairly soft, but have a bit of a splash, uh, but really a, a very simple product and one that I use quite often because of the ease of use and how effective they are. They do also hold up a good bit of weight. They have those three sizes, uh, just like the thingamabobbers, the one inch, the three quarter and the half inch sizes for kind of a variety of water as well as bugs um, and weight that you might have on there. So quick and easy to take off. Again, just make sure not to lose that gasket. And that's all there is to the airlock bobber. So then the new one that came in to the market pretty hot. This has been a really popular one, really hard to come by right now. But again, these should become more available pretty soon is the Oros. And the Oros is similar to the airlock that it features a nut and bolt connection. 
The difference being that it's inlaid right in the center of that indicator. Um, so what that does is keeps it middle way on your indicator or on your leader. Um, also very easy to move. They have enhanced these slightly since the one that I have here. They created a little ridge around the outside of the Oros. You'll see those on the ones that are coming out here soon um, to help with that retention on smaller line sizes. But also very easy to connect. So you're going to take that side with the nut portion with the slot, slide your leader right into it, and then screw on the top. And these ones you do want to kind of cinch down pretty good because they do also have a tendency to move if you don't get them fixed. But that update that they did should help facilitate that. Um, one of the nice things about this is they come in a single tone. They don't come two tone like this. You either get a white, an orange, or a pink color. I like to take them apart and mix them up because you get kind of a, a drift identifier out of the two tone. You can see which way your indicator is writing. Um, and gives you a little bit of an idea of where those flies are at underneath your indicator, which is a really cool feature of this product. Also super simple to move, just lightly unscrew it, move it up six inches, tighten it down and start casting again. Also comes in three size options, those same three size options, half inch, three quarter, and the one inch size indicator. It's a little bit denser overall compared to the airlock. I've noticed that they do have a little bit of a heavier landing splash than the airlock, just a bit of a denser foam overall, but also very buoyant and really great at holding up heavier NIF rigs. Great in fast water, just like the thingamabobber and the airlock, um, but in the smaller sizes can also be used in slower tail outs and things like that as well. So the next type of indicator as far as how they attach to your leader are these gasket style indicators. So we have our foam one, we have our cork one, and we have our yarn ones. And they're all gonna attach the same way and it's very similar to how the airlock, the thingamabobbers all attach. You're gonna fold your line over just like we did before, feed it through that gasket, and then come up and around the indicator. So on these, it's a little bit different because I do like to try and get more of a handshake kind of attachment to it. So I will sort of pinch my leader and get it locked in on the end of the gasket there. Just helps sort of protect that gasket overall versus cutting into it up higher. And then it also helps me hang it at an angle. So you get that right angle style hang off of it. You're going to run your butt section into it and then your tippet can come down off of it um, perpendicular as opposed to parallel to it, which is really nice for hanging your flies straight down as best you can in rivers and lakes and things like that. Uh, these can be a little bit harder to move just because that rubber is malleable. So you definitely have to sort of feed it through and then pull it up to get it to move up and down. And the other thing is when you're using these, they're a lot more likely to create that kink in your leader. So definitely be aware of that. You can always get a leader straightener and run it through the line to straighten that out and fix that problem. But they are sort of conducive to that. Um, the variety of these is great. So the cork is sort of a great middle ground for me. I really use cork quite often in place of a thingamabobber where I want it to be a little bit softer, but I know I'm gonna hang some heavier weight off of it and then transitioning into the yarn and the foam for your spooky fish, for your softer water, uh, that more pockety stuff where you don't want to splash down real heavy, um, but you still need to hang a good size uh, nymph and split shot off of the bottom of that. And then these can be a little tricky to undo as well, just because they do get that memory in them, but you're just gonna back it out, run it over the top and slide it off. And then you can see that it's already kinking it, even though it's only been on there for a matter of seconds. But we'll straighten it out and be good to go. So another great type of indicator is our slip indicator here. These are really built for still water or in situations where you're fishing really deep. If you got a nine foot rod, but you're fishing 10 to 20 feet down below your indicator, you want a system that's gonna be able to break free so that you can have your line run up through the guides 
and get that fish a little bit closer in uh, to where you can net him. These ones you do have to fix onto your line. So we're gonna start by taking the tag end of our line and we're gonna run it through the center of that pin and then we'll walk it all the way up to where we want it. So you'll want to attach this before you attach flies or before you put any other hardware on, any tippet rings or swivels, anything like that. Uh, and then to fix it in place, you're just gonna pop the hub there, create a bit of a loop, and then fix that pin back in place. One of the things I watch out for is you don't necessarily wanna be over the pin because that'll defeat the purpose of it being able to break free. It can get hung up on the plastic up top. So your loop, you want it to be just shy of where the top of that point is. Then when you get a fish on and he does a nice st strong strike or you do your good hook set, it's gonna pop free and run down your line to either your split shot, your hardware, your fly, and prevent it from getting caught up in the guide as you bring your fish in. So these are really great for still water, like I mentioned, um, or any deep fishing scenarios. One of my favorite styles of indicator is the New Zealand, and it's just the modularity of this that I like the most. So we're gonna take our tool, and there's a little notch cut out for us for our leader material. So we're just gonna slide that right on in there. That allows us to take the tubing that's in place and slide that up and over onto the line and gives you a loop. So you wanna make sure to maintain that loop, take the material that you prepped, Put it right on in there, halfway down, and you can kind of pinch it up. And then you're gonna run that piece of tubing right back over the top of that indicator. So you are limited in how much material you can use. I'm on the heavy end here, so it's gonna take a little bit of effort to get it up and over it to hold it in place. This is great for really light, really delicate presentations and also really nice for being able to move it around. But you can see once you get it over that material, it's fixed in place. It's gonna stay right there until you need to move it around. Um, like I said, it takes a little bit of maintenance. You're gonna comb these out a little bit, make them real nice and fluffy. You might add in some Luna Quell to keep the buoyancy of it. You're gonna to wanna to dry it periodically with some uh, desiccant, and you can use even a spray to kind of help cure and make those last and, and stay nice and buoyant. I also typically will fluff mine out and clip it square so that it's a nice clean material. And then they come off easy. So you just pop that gasket off, run it out, and then you can always save your tubing for later as well just by running it right back up onto the tool. Great for really soft water, lighter, nymphing rigs, good for emergers, um, and, and a lot of that type of fishing. So another new style of kind of a bobber style indicator is the frog eyes. These are really unique because they have a dedicated slit built in, which makes them really easy on and off, easy to slide. They just find that spot in between the the rubber, you wanna make sure that you're in between the black portion on either side. Run it all the way back and through, pull it real tight so that you know that you're in that spot and you're ready to fish. Quick, easy, nice and buoyant, super dense. Uh, land a little bit softer than the Oros overall, similar to a cork density, uh, but they are very buoyant and can hold up a variety of nymphing rigs as well. Now we have our Ghost Tech indicator. This one's super unique. It comes with a few components. They give you a nice extra nut there, which is great. And then extra buoyancy as well. So by default, it comes with two pieces attached. You got a nut and bolt that we're gonna undo. And if you wanted to, you could even take off one of these and run with just one single piece. Most of the time, you're probably gonna be utilizing two or even stacking a third on top if you need that extra buoyancy. So it has a little built-in slit right on the nut here that you're gonna take your line through. Little slit there that you're gonna take your line, 
run it through and then bring that nut back into place and screw it on down on top of it. And you just want to screw it down until you got some pretty good tension on that material and so that line can't sneak out of there. Uh, but like I said, you can add a third one to it to get a little better buoyancy out of it. Or if you need to back it off, if you're fishing just one little emerger down below this, maybe you only need one uh, in some real soft water, you can do that as well. So kind of a neat little modular system from the Ghost Tech indicator. Now we got our BioStrike indicator. This is a cool product from Loon. Um, Biodegradable, which is great. All that Loon stuff that you're gonna see is the fishing with a conscious, so it's gonna be environmentally friendly for your waterways, which is super important, especially with more and more fly fishers out there each day. Uh, but it's kind of a foamy material. All you're gonna do is pinch off however much you need and then kind of mold it onto your leader and form it in to your indicator. So again, a very lightweight option. Does a good job of hanging a couple of flies, not too much weight. Um, could be good behind a dry fly. If you just need something, you could put just a little tiny bit on there to help you see a size 20 midge or something small you might be fishing. Uh, but very quick and easy to attach. Comes off fairly easy as well. Leaves a little bit of a residue on your leader, not too bad. Um, a couple of other products here do the same sort of thing, but you can always put it back in the container and reuse it as well. So that's a great feature is that it's a nice reusable style indicator. Another one from Loon is the Strikeout. So this is a polypropylene style uh, material, just a really light, fluffy material. So this is similar to the New Zealand style indicator where you're gonna build your own. You're gonna cut it to size, however much you want. You can come in with your leader, fix it to it if you want. You can go ahead and just tie a nice quick clinch knot and fix that in place. You won't be able to move it, obviously, once you do that, but it's nice and secured. There's another method also out there, the Dorsey indicator, where he utilizes a material, a material similar to this. Um, there's a great video on that from Trout Bitten, one of our partners. So check that out. He shows you in depth how to do that with a rubber gasket um, or specifically the dental bands, uh, the orthodontic bands. Um, so a cool way to utilize a material, build your own leader that can easily be moved up and down your leader. Check that one out from Trout Bitten. All right, so the next one that we have here is the Kahuna. This is a really unique indicator from Rio Products. Um, very simple little indicator. It's gonna be best used with your smallest presentations. Good behind a dry fly again, um, but takes a little bit of effort to set up. So you're gonna thread this directly on to your leader. And they give you a little bit of wire here as a threader to help get it on there. I'm just gonna take it and we'll pinch it down nice and fine. And then we should be able to pass this through the indicator. Just like so, so you have a loop out the other side. Then you can come in with your leader and go through that loop. Give yourself a little bit of slack to work with and then pull that straight through and now it's fixed on your line. So this is movable. It's uh, gonna stay in place on a thicker butt section, but otherwise you're gonna have to knot it as a stopper. You could also get a bobber stop for it. The nice thing about this is once you have it on there, you don't have to take it off necessarily. Once you clip your flies off at the end of the day, this can stay right on your leader, reel it all the way up, all the way through the guides onto your reel, and then it's in place and ready to go for your next outing on the water. Very lightweight, only gonna work in situations where you're hanging a pretty lightweight emerger or nymph off that doesn't need to be too deep, um, or again, just behind a dry fly for a little bit of cider style material. So on that other end of the spectrum, compared to the thingamabobber being your bobber style, we have our pulsas, uh, and these are a very delicate, very lightweight style indicator. Uh, very easy to use, they just peel right off of the sheet. And then what you're trying to do here is get your leader right in the middle of that eight and then folding it over so that they marry up as nicely as you can there. This indicator has very specific use. It's good uh, in some situations where you might want a really small dry fly. 
trailing about six inches in front of it just to keep track of it if you're fishing a size 20 22 midge something like that this can help you figure out where that is as your drift's going down a good drift identifier um, can also hang maybe one emerger off of it that's going to be real high in the water column just six or eight inches below the surface if you are using these be aware that they do tend to leave a little bit of residue on your leader so as you pull them off they kind of fall apart uh, and they don't biodegrade very well. So it leaves that little mark on your line, which you can clean off with a, a wet nap or something like that. But if you're using these, please you know, be very conscious that we don't want these on the riverside. Make sure you pack them out whenever you use them. They can blow away really easily. And they, like I said, they don't uh, biodegrade. So uh, if you're out there on the water, just make sure that you're taking these home with you. So all in all, there really are a wide variety of indicator options out there on the market for you to take advantage of. We recommend if you're going out on the river, take a good selection. Have some of those lightweight presentation indicators for your slack water, your clear water days, uh, when the fish are holding shallow and you don't wanna spook them. But then also have stuff that you can get on the heavier end if you need to get deep, if they're holding really low and slow and you gotta hang a lot of weight and you got heavy flies and you gotta make sure that your indicator is nice and buoyant through riff release sections, uh, you wanna be ready for whatever kind of the fish are, are wanting you to do, right? Whatever their lays are conducive to. So carry a variety of indicators, definitely play around with ones that work best for you. There's a lot of options for you to take advantage of. Uh, check them out on avidmax.com. Give us a call if you want some help figuring out which ones might be best for where you're headed. Uh, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and uh, drop us a comment if you have any suggestions on what you prefer, uh, what you like to use, and what's worked best for you in the past. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out on the water.